Today, I'm gonna to talk about the cold pack winter running essentials from Janji. Seven point five seven miles, eight minutes, forty seconds per mile, one hundred thirty nine beats per minute today, on a cold winter like day here in New Vienna, Iowa. Even though it's still October on the calendar, temperatures were around the freezing point today, and there was a stiff cold wind blowing through, making for a really good time to test out the cold pack winter running essentials from Janji. Now, before I give you my thoughts on these new pieces for this season, I do want to go over some disclosures. Uh, these are all clothes that were sent to me by Janji for the purpose of review, so I didn't have to pay for them, but they're not paying me to make this video or to use any of this apparel, and they're not going to get a chance to preview any of my footage or my thoughts before you guys get a chance to see this video on YouTube. So with the disclosures out of the way, let's talk about this winter running gear. So the first thing that I'll talk about is this shirt that I'm wearing. This is the Swift Tech Long Sleeve in Atlantic. Atlantic is the name of the color. For me, it's kind of like a sea green. I'm a little bit colorblind. It's kind of like a gray with a little bit of blue in there. So that's kind of what I'm seeing. Hopefully it's coming through on the camera for you guys. What I like about it as far as a winter piece uh, to run in is that the neck is a little bit taller. I don't always like that, but for this one, I'm liking it. It's a mock neck, but it's not like a super tall mock neck. Not all mock necks are created equal. I like the length on this one because what it's doing is kind of like enclosing where my neck is. So there's not a lot of room out here. So it feels very snug around the neck. Uh, keeps a lot of the heat in, which is something that I appreciate for a piece of winter gear. It's also got these great thumb holes, which I also appreciate. I actually usually don't use thumb holes when I'm running uh, because if it's cold enough for me to use the thumb holes, I'm usually bringing gloves along. I'm like the first person in the running group that needs running gloves, probably the last person to take them off. But when I'm wearing a shirt around like this casually, like during the winter or when it's cooler out, I love them. I just love these. I think they look great. I think they feel great. Make me feel really nice and warm. So I'm a big fan of it. And these fit really nicely, very comfortable. The length ends up being just right when you've got your hands in here. But then even if you take your hands out of them, it's not like they're super extra long. So it, it works out really well. It's very well thought out the way that they've done it here. The material is a little bit stretchy and it feels like some kind of a mix between like, it's not quite a tech tee type of material and it's not quite cotton jersey. It's something in the middle between that. So it's stretchy, it's comfy, but it's still definitely a material that can perform well. It feels like a loose piece of clothing in terms of like how it's kind of like hangs as I'm wearing it but it also is actually quite snug. And so I feel like it's very functional. And so I feel like it's very comfortable for a piece that you're gonna layer, perhaps with a vest or a jacket as things get a lot colder as you get deeper into the winter. The next thing that I wanna talk about though is the Mercury track pant. The color for this is night shadow. Again, I'm a little bit colorblind, so I'd say it's a little bit bluer than the Atlantic uh, in my mind, or maybe a little bit grayer. I could be convinced either way. But what we have is a really nice track pant. One of the things that I really enjoy about it is the way they describe it. They describe it as cozy comfort and peached softness. And what I think they mean by that is that this material, it's stretchy and comfortable, but it's also kind of like really nice to the touch. So um, peached softness, think about like if you're touching a peach, like that peach fuzz, it's kind of got that feeling to it. Uh, and it's really <laughs> nice on the skin, very comfortable to wear around but it's also something that's very functional for running too. So it's uh, a little bit looser in the thighs, but it starts to get a little bit more form thinning by the time you get to the ankle and it's got a little bit of a cuffed ankle for you there. Uh, in terms of badging, you've got uh, the John G logo on the right hand thigh right here. And then on the back of the left ankle, you've got their water logo. And uh, that's just a reminder that with Janji, all of their products, 2% of the proceeds go to support clean water projects throughout the world. So that's something that's not just 
a temporary thing or something that they're like doing for this season. That's something that's been part of their DNA from the ground up when this company was uh, started, uh, is the idea of giving back to the community. And so uh, water project support, I think is super cool. So 2% of anything that you buy goes to help that. So that's where why you'll see a lot of water logos in a lot of their products. In terms of also just running with them in the winter, you've got two pockets, zipper pockets on each side. And here's a nice little attention to detail. Right there, you could see there's a little Johnji logo right on the zipper cover. So nice little attention to detail. That's the kind of thing that I like to see. Not necessary, but it's nice to know that they're thinking a lot about the zippers. I've had lots of track pants that I really like, but the zippers are like an afterthought. And so the reason why I end up replacing a lot of those other ones is because the zippers fail. Then on the back, you've got a center pocket in the back, which is kind of like my favorite location for storage and running pants these days. Uh, and this one is big enough that I can fit my iPhone 11 Pro with a case in it. I have a pretty thin case. So if you got like an outer box, that's not gonna work. But if you've got like a regular case on your iPhone 11 Pro, that's about the size that I have. I could fit that in here and there's a little bit of room to spare, but this material is like a little bit light. So you don't want to go too heavy with anything in any of the pockets. Cause I feel like that's going to kind of weigh things down a little bit, but overall the lightness of the pants are really pleasant and comfy to run in. I ran in today, like I said, the temperatures were about at the freezing point and we had a pretty strong wind. The stretchiness though, here's a couple of things I didn't like about the pants, the stretchiness about these pants, I feel like made them a little bit more susceptible to really strong winds. So like as temperatures start to drop and as the winds pick up, I'm not sure that I'm gonna be able to wear just these pants. I might need to have to put like a long john or another underlayer underneath them, maybe some tights in order to get through some of the more harsher parts of the winter. But for today, today's temps, freezing temps, uh, right around that area, these pants are just right. The other thing that I didn't love about these pants, I feel like the length of the pant is like an inch too short. So I feel like if I, I wore a longer sock today, but if I was wearing my usual kind of like low cut or no cut socks, and then these pants, there would have been like an inch of like bare ankle showing, not that I'm like bashful about showing ankles, but if it's a winter pant, you know, I usually prefer for that pant to come down a little bit further, but otherwise the pants are super comfortable, very functional for running in the winter, they held up really well, even under some cooler temperatures today. So I feel like definitely can get a lot of wear out of these pants, both as a running pant and also as a pant to be just comfy in on those cold winter days. Now, the next thing that we'll talk about is the Vortex gloves. These are the gloves that I ran in today. Um, love the designs on them, super funky, uh, but they're also very functional. They've got some weather resistant material, some stretch fleece in here. Uh, reflective accents for some visibility and they're supposed to be thermal gloves but i didn't really find them to be all that thermal like i said though uh i don't know if i just got bad circulation or what the story is my hands get cold really easily and i i was struggling today in terms of these gloves being able to keep me warm enough and today's temperatures were at freezing point so i think that the way that i would use these gloves is for temperatures that are like above freezing like closer towards the 40s and because of the fact that they're weather resistant and they block the wind a little bit better uh, as well, I think that I would go with these for like a, a light glove when it's raining or wet or just damp out. So these are gonna come in handy as kind of like a, a weatherized option. Now, the last thing I wanna talk about today is this Storm Runner fleece jacket. And it's unusual in that it has like a collar, like a regular jacket. And so I thought that that was kind of unusual as kind of like a piece of running apparel but it makes sense uh, on a couple of levels. One is a lot of the stuff that John G makes is designed for you to be able to pack light back in the days when we were allowed to travel, remember that? Uh, it makes it so you don't have to carry a bunch of pieces. I'm not usually a popped collar kind of guy, but on a day like today when the winds were blowing, it was nice to have this collar up because this jacket is windproof. Uh, it's got a reflective accent on this side as well. And so that's also a nice little added bonus there. And it's also water resistant. So if the weather it's a little bit disagreeable, this water repellent material is gonna be really useful for running. Plus it's got this like grid fleece and I'll show it to you closer on the camera so you can get a better look at it. It's a material that I've seen in a lot of winter running gear and I really like it 
because it does two things. It allows these like little channels in the grid here, allow for sweat and heat to kind of dissipate or excess heat and excess sweat to dissipate. But at the same time, it still has that fleece in there. So you're kind of getting the best of both worlds, warmth without wetness, which is kind of like the key for a lot of winter running gear is you want to be able to stay warm without getting too warm. Because once you get wet, then as you're cooling off, the evaporative effect of moisture uh, is gonna actually make you colder. So getting the right level of heat and warmth is critical and this grid pattern stuff usually works out really well for me. And for today, this stuff worked out fantastic. Uh, in addition to that, it's got a bunch of pockets. So if you did want to store stuff in the pockets, it's got two pockets on the sides, kind of like normal jacket style pockets. It's also got one on like the shoulder, like right here. So it's an interior pocket. So you could put in, uh, it's a smaller pocket. So you could fit a phone and that's about as big as that pocket it is not much else other than that. I think that pocket's probably going to be a little bit more useful as something when you're wearing this as like a regular jacket. But again, Again, it's this, this piece has that versatility where it could be something you're working out in. It also can be something that you're going out in. I'm, I'm not saying like going out, like going out at night, uh, but a really useful piece. I'm liking it a lot more than I thought I would. I thought because of the weird collar on there that I would just think it was awkward, but it's actually really working for me. I like this piece a lot. Uh, very functional for me. I'm definitely gonna get, get a lot of miles on it. So those are the pieces that Janji sent to me from their cold pack winter running essentials. If you have any questions about any of these pieces, feel free to ask me in the comments down below. I'll post links to everything in the description down below as well. So you can check that out there. Also, if you don't want to put any questions in the comments and you just want to ask me directly, I do a live stream every day, 3 p.m. here on YouTube. You can come by, ask me anything you like about the Janji stuff or about any other video that I've made, or you can just come and hang out. We'd love to see you there. That's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for making it all the way to the end of the video. Hopefully you guys are staying safe out there on your runs, and I'll see you in the next one. Yo, what's going on?